How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to yet another review. Joe! From NEPA Beer Reviews. Is here, and we are doing a bunch of reviews today. Did a couple homebrew reviews. Did a couple Kanata reviews of some uh, IPAs. And uh, brewed three beers. Yes, a, three beers. Uh, a, a wit. A wit beer. Uh, well, technically a Hefeweizen. Then two IPAs as well. Yes, two different IPAs, yes, and uh, different IPAs. and we're doing some reviews on location, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, next up we have a Clown Shoes beer. Um, and have you ever had anything from Clown Shoes? Before? Um, I have, but I haven't had. I haven't really had anything from them for a while. I think I had like, was it like muffin top or something? Some shit like that. Yeah, they have weird names and shit. Yeah. And all that stuff. Uh, Clown Shoes is, to me, the worst name in the history of beer. Um, I just hate their name so much. To the point where I wouldn't drink their beers, but now I'm like, whatever. Um, this bottle is courtesy of my buddy George. Thank you very much, George. He picked this up for me while he's in Jersey. Um, it is a Clown Shoes beer that was only brewed for New Jersey. Garden State Rhapsody is the name of it. It's a 12%. Um, Imperial Stout aged in rye barrels, right? Yeah, rye barrels? yeah, rye barrels. And uh, only made for New Jersey, so thank you, George, for picking us up. And uh, yeah, super excited to give it a whirl. Uh, first barrel aged offering I've had from Cloud Shoes. Same here. Yeah. Cloud um, Shoes, like I said, the, the name's the worst. Um, label art, the label art is really weird for me in that I like it, but I like it in a way that I like It's like very yeah. illustrative and comic booky. It's not like, it's just different. I guess you put it that way. So, yeah. I think I've had... what well, I did a couple of Clown Shoes reviews. Blakehorn Unidragon, um, Uncle, Uncle Sam, and there's one other one I did. I forget what the yeah, other one I was. have a bottle of uh, Very Angry Beast uh, that was given to me by my buddy Rob. And other than that, I really haven't, like... I tried one of their beers early on when they were first starting to hit this area, and then I just really haven't yeah. tried anything from them for a long time. Yeah, because they're, they're, it's a weird beer in that they're usually American style and that they usually hop forward in a lot of stuff they make, which isn't right in my wheelhouse. And two, they're usually, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap. They're in that weird price point that yeah. you're like, I don't know if I want to really want to spend that much on a bomber from these guys. You know, it's a weird price point. But mm -hmm. uh, first things first, that looks like ice cream. The head, you know what yeah, I mean, it's like awesome. super compact bubbles, it's insanely creamy top, and as far as color goes, I mean, it's, it's a, dark. Yeah, it's a stout. It's dark as Joe's soul. Actually, dark as <laughs> my soul. His soul's pretty yeah. bright. Yeah, it is. Let's see what she smells like. That's a weird nose. Yeah. It's like it, roasty. It's roasty, but it seems it smells like like. Like I said, it looked like ice cream. It almost smells like coffee ice cream nose, but at the same time. Yeah. There's no barrel. I don't get any no, barrel. No, I'm not really getting the barrel. Um, I mean the rye. I can get the rye there. It's like it smells like a, a muted coffee ice cream. I mean that's what it actually. Smells. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of coffee. Um, pretty creamy yeah. in the nose. But I expected bigger at 12 percent age in a yeah. rye barrel. You yeah, expected to have a little pop to it, and it's just not there. Yeah. But it is kind of cold, so that has something to do with it. Yeah. Lovely sit on it for... We, yeah, we usually talk for nine hours when we do a review. Yeah, so pretty much. By the time we're done reviewing, I mean, it's probably 40 degrees out here, so it's not going to get warmer than 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. It's, it's going it's to be cold. <laughs> so, but let's still, dive in. Cheers. Cheers. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, way That's more in the mouth than um, in the nose. It definitely is cold. I think when it warms up, it's going to open up um, a bit more. I'm still kind of searching for the barrel. I mean, I guess it's kind of there, but it's it's it, more... It's it's there and it's not. It's more Imperial Stout than barrel. Yeah. A nice roast. Zero bitterness for me. Nice sweetness. I mean, I'm like... I'm getting a little bit of, of like a coffee flavor, uh, a little bit of roasted malt, you know, no barrel, no. no no barrel at all, and no alcohol either, which is 
good for yeah, 12%. You know, a twelve percent beer. Um, you know, I, I I don't know if I was thinking this would be a little bit more than what it was or what or, or what's going on. You know what it is, and this maybe this is a theme for me. How you doing? Um, it tastes like. It tastes like a really good non barrel imperial stout. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah, but I think it might be that they took a base stout that was okay and the barrel made it better. But it, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's hard to tell, yeah. honestly. Um, it, I mean, if I was really trying to dig deep and get barrel out of it, I'd probably say if I'm going to get anything, it would be maybe like some char, not, not booze or not oak. But that's probably just me reaching at straws. Um, um. There's like a slight kind of tannicky, oakiness to it. Yeah. But other than that, you're not hitting a whole hell of a lot of barrel. And that's the thing when you, you're talking about barrel aged beers, you're like, okay, you know, we put it in a barrel. Well, we could put it in there for 13 minutes, 13 months, 13 yeah, seconds. Like, what's, like, what's, what's going, going on? Yeah. What kind of barrel? It's a rye barrel? It'd be like, if I got a barrel, a plastic barrel, and, tight, and wrote rye on it, and I put beer in it, and I put it in a rye barrel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not to be that facetious, exactly. that, yeah. that weird, but it's like, you don't know what's in what or what's going where. So, it is what it is. Baseline, I think it's a really nice beer. It's just uninspiring. There's really nothing about it that kind of reaches out and goes, hey, this yeah, is like this fantastic. is this is there, to me it's if they just took out if they took out aged in rye barrels. I'd be like, yes, yeah, I'd be like, stout. yeah, this is this is a solid imperial stout. Yeah. As it is now, it's like this was aged in rye barrels. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of that thing. Like I'm like I'm like loathe reality TV, but the one thing I'm like a big. Um, junkie for is cooking shows. I just love cooking shows. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I love cooking. That's what it is. But um, the biggest flaw that people in like cooking shows, like contest shows, whether it be, I always watch um, Alton Brown's Cut Cutthroat Kitchen or that's like a, a show I watch and people will make a, a food and then tell the person when they're giving them the food they don't know what they're getting. They'll explain them this, this, and this is in there. The biggest knock they always give people, and they're like, well, you told me it tastes, this is in there, but it's not in there. Yeah. And that's the same thing with beer. It's like, don't tell, just say, put a blank label that says, stout, or yeah. barrel aged stout on it with no art, and if you deliver what's in there, but if you give me a label that has a list of shit, yeah. and it's not in there, then, I mean, you're telling me it's in there, but it's not in there. I gotta knock you for it. Yeah, you know really. what I mean? Like... It's when you have beers like like uh, like one of my uh, favorite beers of last year that I reviewed. It didn't make my top ten list, but it was like honorable mention. Was the Maple Mistress because they were like it's brewed with maple, it's brewed with butternut squash, it's brewed with this, this, and this, and everything they had on the label was like literally in there, and you could miss it. And you have to commend somebody when they're like, okay, this is what's going on. You yeah. know what I mean? But when you say okay, rye barrel age, and you're like, mm -hmm, no. No, it's not. Yeah, I, I, I get very little barrel. Um, I don't know if it's temperature of the glass, or like of what we're drinking, or what's going on, but yeah. like, it, it it's going to hit a certain point to where you're going to think temperature is not going to be a factor anymore. I don't think it's a temperature thing. Yeah. Like I said, if this is anything, it's 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. When it came out of the fridge, I'm assuming that's what it is. You yeah. know what I mean, based on just general, uh, you know what I mean, experience. And I, like, even at that temperature, you're you're gonna be able to pick up something, especially if you're driving and looking for it. Yeah, you're like, oh, I'm really trying like, to. I want to like get hold it in your this. mouth for a minute and really bring it out and try to get something from it, but it's just not there. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's it's it's. A, if you gave this to me in a glass and said, "Here's an imperial stout." Or here's a beer. Look at it. You can assume what it is. I drank it. And they go, this is an imperial stout. I would probably grade it in the high 80s. Mm -hmm. Without knowing anything. And I would still grade it in the high 80s. 80s for how much I like it. But it's just not there. The extra bits of pieces of the barrel and what, what's supposed to be there, it's just not there. And that's kind of like 
par for the course for Clown Shoes with me. The beers that I've had from them are solid, but never exceptional. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I would rate this probably C plus to B minus range. Yeah. Um, if the barrel came out a little bit more, uh, it would probably push to maybe B plus. Um, you know, there's only so much that a barrel can do for the beer. Yeah. You know, um, so, I mean, it's not a, it, it's not the best stout that I've ever had. It's also not the worst. You know, it's, it's, it's an okay stout going in. Yeah. But they could almost take out the aged in rye barrels yeah. part and I'd be like, okay. Yeah, this I is mean, a nice stout. Yeah, baseline, I give it. I give it an eighty-five. I actually think it's a nice beer. I'm enjoying it. It's just, it's it's a. Um, what do I have? I say it. It's a it's a Ford Tempo. It's 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 a it's a you know what I mean? It's a uh, yeah. It's a slice of Elio's pizza. Like I enjoy it. Yeah. And it sustains me in some form or fashion, and I like it. Yeah. It's not as negative. Like, there's really... I mean, is there any really overt negatives to it? To no. me, there's nothing... No. Like, oh, this tastes bad, or this... It's just... It's textbook... Textbook solid. Like, it's yeah. like... It's, it's a very solid beer. It's a very... You can tell it's a very well-made beer. It's just lacking in what it says it is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. a... Uh, it's, I don't really get any of even the rye. Like, a rye kind of spiciness... It's just you know, roasted malts and it's just a and it, it's a very nice stout. Mm-hmm. There you go, eighty five for me. Him, high seventies, low eighties. C minus yeah. B, C minus B, minus. B. C, C plus, plus B, B minus, minus kind of range. Value and availability. Uh, again, it was gifted to me. Um, I so you don't only get it in New Jersey, so your mileage is going to vary. I live in Pennsylvania, so I could pick one up if I wanted to. Yeah, we could um, drive out to. Yeah, and get from the, here we could drive out from, to New Jersey. From here, I give it an availability of a five, just because I can go get it if I wanted to. Um, yeah. Value, I think you paid like ten bucks for it. I mean, you know, six, seven on the value scale for for what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's just all over. It's a nice beer. I mean, if you like a base textbook nice imperial stout pick it up because you'll enjoy it but it's just lows uh, lows lows because that's a word yeah um, lacks is. any kind of wow factor I, I can I, you, I, I you just mashed both lacks and wows lows yeah. yeah um and it's just you know a nice beer just yeah meh yeah it's meh. A, meh meh it it doesn't really live up to what it says it what is. it says it is and if you you're going to say something, if you're going to talk the talk, you better walk the walk. Yeah. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or didn't or whatever, comment section below. Like, subscribe. Uh, if you'd like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. Joe? NEPABRreviews.squarespace.com is our website. And then at NEPABRreviews on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Massive beers, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap. All four of those places. And um, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a nice beer right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.